a wintry message from some neighbors with disabilities. Four days. Seven days. Three weeks. That's how long it was before I could leave my house after it snowed last winter. When it snows, property owners are responsible for shoveling the sidewalks in front of our homes and businesses. My name is Bruce. I live in Columbia City and I'm deafblind. Laura in her power wheelchair. My name is Laura and I live in Lake City. Neve in their power wheelchair. I'm Neve and I live in Hillman City. The thing I love about my neighborhood is that it has libraries, it has grocery stores, restaurants, places I can meet my friends, all of which I can reach in my wheelchair. This all changed when the snowstorm happened last year and I was trapped in my home for a whole week. When the snow builds up, my cane has no orientation. I can't feel the ground. Everyone uses sidewalks to get around. But for people with disabilities, they're crucial. If they aren't cleared, we're stuck. If you got caught off guard without a shovel or salt last year, buy your supplies now. Talk to your neighbors to come up with a plan to ensure that all the sidewalks in front of your block stay clear. Find people in your neighborhood who might need help. And if you can't shovel your sidewalk yourself, make sure to find help before it snows. Paths need to be cleared within 12 hours of snow falling and should be 36 inches wide to make sure that all of us, including those of us who use wheelchairs, can get through safely. Heavy snow isn't common for Seattle, but due to the climate crisis and changing weather patterns, we need to be prepared. So get out there, get your shovel and salt, and check in with your neighbors. We all rely on sidewalks to get where we need to go. And our communities rely on all of us to do our part. For more information, go to takewinterbystorm.org. Produced by Rooted in Rights and Seattle Department of Transportation.